Why do we make effort? First, let's understand it. Not if we are not to make effort. We are making effort. From the moment we are born till we die, effort, struggle. What for? Why? Again, psychologically, inwardly, which if I understand rightly, then outwardly it will have a totally different meaning, this struggle, existence. So one must understand effort, this constant striving, what for, why? There is Effort when there is contradiction. Ne? There is effort when there is comparison. You are better than I, you are much more clever, you have better position, you are, you are famous, and so on, so on, so on. And I am nobody, I am, so I must reach you. That's a fact, not a supposition. This is how we function every day of our life. We worship success. Every magazine is filled with success. And from the moment one goes to school till we die, we are comparing, struggling, in incessant conflict, because there is a division, a contradiction between the one who compares and that which is compared to. Through comparison we think we understand, actually we don't. And it's to live with com- without comparison requires tremendous intelligence and sensitivity, because then there is no example, there is no something as should be the ideal, the hero, the example. One begins with what actually is. And to understand what is, there is, there is no need for comparison. And when you compare, you destroy what is, you don't understand actually what is. It's like comparing a boy to his elder brother, who is very clever. And so you destroy the younger boy. And that's what we are doing all the time. And we are struggling. Struggling for what psychologically? To end violence? To have more pleasure? To have more experiences? To end violence? is to come directly into contact with it, in yourself. And you cannot come into contact with it if there is an ideal uh, as non-violence, peace and all the rest of it. This opposite creates the conflict. But if you can look at that violence completely, with total attention, then there is no conflict, striving. It comes to an end. It is these absurd, idiotic ideals that destroy this direct contact with reality. And one can live a life without conflict. Which doesn't mean you become a vegetable. On the contrary, the 
the mind becomes highly aware, intelligent, full of energy, passion. And it is the man in conflict that dissipates this intelligence. 